Kevin Durant ruptured the Achilles tendon in his right leg during Game 5 of the 2019 NBA Finals. Two days later, he underwent surgery. This was a tough blow not only for Kevin Durant, but for the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors for a long time had had an abnormal run of good luck regarding health. But it seemed like that all came crashing down in the final years of the Kevin Durant Golden State Warriors saga. Being so good for so long, the question naturally arose, how long could this possibly hold up? When KD ruptured his Achilles tendon, I think we were all let down in the biggest of ways, not at Kevin Durant, not at the Warriors, but more so at the fact that this could possibly happen. For the longest of time, it seemed like everybody was against Kevin Durant. And when I say against, I mean more so they didn't like his move going to the Golden State Warriors. But as time passed, it seemed like people were starting to warm up more and more to Kevin Durant. People actually had to warm up to one of the greatest scorers to ever play the game of basketball. When it's all said and done, we will be talking about Kevin Durant as one of the greats. And maybe you won't, but at least I will. KD quickly went from one of the league's nicest and most soft-spoken players to somebody that had been universally hated for his move. For all of the hate he got, he did accomplish one thing that was very important to him. He went out and he got his rings. Not only did he get his rings, he started to get more and more respect. He went head to head with arguably the greatest basketball player of all time in LeBron James. And the comparisons, while they existed before, the comparisons were simply more real than ever. People actually started considering Kevin Durant as the best player in the game of basketball. We can look back at KD's injury and we can point fingers and we can say he shouldn't have been playing. But the fact of the matter is KD is the ultimate competitor. He wanted to be out there on the court. He wanted to be out there helping his team in any way possible. This wasn't a regular season game again. This wasn't just any playoff game, this was the NBA Finals. You guys know earlier in the playoffs, Kevin Durant suffered a calf injury. And that calf injury, it was one that possibly helped change NBA history forever. Because who knows what would have happened if Kevin Durant never suffered that initial injury or even suffered the second injury more so. I think the NBA and the NBA's timelines are so fragile. A lot of times I think we overlook these things and we don't always take them into account. I've seen injuries alter entire careers and that's why I was so scared when Kevin Durant went down. At that time, we didn't know the Kevin Durant that we would see next and you can say we still aren't entirely sure of what version of Kevin Durant we're going to see in the following season. But I can tell you one thing. I have some footage of Kevin Durant hooping, and I have to say, he looks pretty good. But I'll let you guys be the judge. If Durant never gets hurt, does he still choose the Brooklyn Nets and team up with Kyrie Irving? This video, we're going to be going over Kevin Durant's injury timeline, and I'm also going to be showing you guys a major update from the Kevin Durant injury. But before we go any further, guys, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You will not want to miss another decoup video. And that's facts. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subscribers so I can go full time and bring you guys daily content. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. So you guys know the deal. This is the part of the video where I answer the first question commented on the last video. And that question is, how high is the Hawks potential next season with Clint Capella back? Cam after the All-Star break has been exciting and JC and Werder are shooting 40 plus percent from deep. Now I have to say I do like this Hawks team, but they have to play like more of a team going forward. Them getting another good pick this season is going to be incredibly good. And Cam has been fantastic. I am still up on Cam Reddish's potential. I think they do have a lot of potential and I think Capella is going to be an amazing addition because he is that defensive center that Collins needs to thrive and Trey's passing should keep him very efficient with that being said be sure to follow my IG handle G like coop you guys will not want to miss another post so we have this tweet Kevin Durant has progressed to four on four in his rehab here he takes rookie Nicholas Claxton off the dribble first time I've seen Durant dunking since his injury this confirms that KD is in LA with the Nets for the start of their West Coast road trip 
Now, you guys see the footage of Kevin Durant not only dunking the basketball, which is very important because Kevin Durant is now back dunking, but he looks very explosive and very smooth with his handle as he always has. This looks like vintage prime Kevin Durant, and this is something that I need to see next season for the Brooklyn Nets. You guys know with all of the moves that the Nets have been making, getting rid of D'Angelo Russell, bringing in Kyrie Irving, firing Kenny Atkinson, a lot of people are thinking these are bad moves. But sometimes when you have players like Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, you have to make sure that these stars are good. The NBA, after all, is mainly a star-driven league. And you know what you're getting into when you bring in these two top tier players because this Nets team it goes from competing for playoff spots which they are actually in the playoffs right now without Kyrie Irving without Kevin Durant to competing for a title this Nets team with Kevin Durant and Kyrie healthy is probably top two top three at worst in the Eastern Conference these scores are that good these players are that good KD all around bucket I don't even need to tell you guys how good this guy is how complete of a player he is now one thing that does stick out to me is I'm seeing multiple reports that the Nets want to go out and they want to get another star player they want to package some of the guys that they have already and bring in a third star now we already saw maybe something going on when deandre jordan started the last game for the brooklyn nets now again the rumors are they want another star player you guys remember what kyrie said earlier in the season he also wants some more help so it will get interesting and i wonder what player that they will realistically go out and target to touch back on kd's injury very quickly it's worth noting that some people think that Kevin Durant may possibly return this season and I have to say that that is very very unlikely. It's good that he's looking healthy but we learned a lesson and let's make sure he's 150% healthy because at 31 years old we're not sure how many more injuries like this Kevin Durant can take and continue to play at the Kevin Durant type level. Now, it's also worth noting that Kevin Durant himself said he's not coming back, even if the Nets make the playoffs. Durant himself said, the best thing for me to do is continue to rehab, get as strong as I can, and focus on next season. This is a quote from February 20th, 2020. But again, I know it's tough to judge just off of one video, but I'm interested in knowing, do you guys think if Kevin Durant wanted to return right now, or in the upcoming month, say the Nets do make the playoffs and they somehow get out of the first round, do you think Kevin Durant would be able to return and play basketball at a high level? You have to keep in mind that even like 70% of Kevin Durant is an absurdly good NBA player that's bringing a lot to the game. Now where things get really interesting and Stephen A didn't like this at all, is that March 1st, an article came out that Kevin Durant is not ruling out playing in the Tokyo Olympics. Tokyo is definitely a possibility. He allowed his name to be in the group of finalists, but there are other benchmarks in front of him that are more important before he makes decisions. The article states it would be a surprise to see Durant's first game back being in Tokyo with the USA across his chest. How However, it's more likely that he waits until next season to step on the court in Brooklyn, but he's leaving the door open so it does become something to watch. Now again, I would love to see Kevin Durant back playing international basketball, but most importantly, I want to make sure we have this guy for the long term. Speaking on the Brooklyn Nets though, Kyrie Irving is going to be very good. I know I'm one of the few people that may still be a fan of Kyrie Irving despite everything that's happened over the past few years, but I have to say that he's going to be unbelievable for this Brooklyn Nets team. And I know that things haven't been the greatest so far with Kyrie, but I can assure you guys that he is going to bring it every night that he is on the floor. And I know what the Nets record looks like with Kyrie, without Kyrie, but when the playoffs come around, there's no better 
thing to have than a star player. Kyrie as the second option is absolutely unreal. He's not going to be the first option likely like he was this season for the Nets. He's going to be the 1B to Kevin Durant's 1A and that's going to be disgusting to stop in the playoffs because we know this team is going to make a deep run and these guys have been there before and performed on the highest level. With that being said, let me know if Kenny Atkinson deserved to be fired because I'm not a huge fan of that move, but it is interesting. With that being said, be sure to click the video on the screen right now, guys. It's incredibly dope. Be sure to subscribe. Notice on. I'm D. Coop and I'm out.